fought that boss like eight times. No, a lot more than eight times. I was on that boss for like 30 minutes. Actually, probably a lot more than 30 minutes because um, uh, I went back to grind after fighting him, not really understanding what the mechanics might be because I was doing zero damage. Large pile, uh, pile of rubble is blocking the way. It refuses to bulge. Okay. Well, I got the... Oh, let's go turn in the, uh, the mirror piece. And then I... Yes. Yeah. Hey there, Adol. If you're looking for Oha... Not at one secret heights. Well, that's where I will go. Alright, this might be the, the last piece of the mirror. doesn't it? Yes, it does. A lot of HP. Oh, I actually do damage to it. This is it. This is the last mirror fragment. Adel, I. Now I can finally restore the mirror of Zem to its original form. I can't find the words to thank you, but please accept this. Yeah, I guess. I'll never forget what you have done for me, Adel. Really, thank you so very much. Take good care of her, won't you? And if she causes you any trouble, you're welcome to scold her, you know. What, what are you talking about?
I'm not taking care of anybody. Oh. I haven't done this in a while. Talk to the chief. Doesn't look like anything's changed story-wise. That kid is still hiding in the same spot. Welcome back, Ado. Perhaps you've heard. Yep. Yep. Any other? Okay. Nothing has changed. All right. So I have the bell. Let's go here and find out what they're talking about. While I was crossing over the bridge, I saw something funny. It looked like some driftwood that was floating out to sea. It ended up stuck behind... Uh, stuck and hidden behind the island. Uh, do you seriously mean to suggest that you were able to reach Zemeth Island? The currents are too fast for anyone to get close, so no one to my knowledge has been able to investigate it. What did you find there? I must know. I'm not the ring wing statue. I imagine that to be a statue of Alma, the goddess of the spirits worshipped by Retta. Still, hearing about a winged statue just reminds me of the statues in that shrine in Asteria. Come to think of it, I remember seeing a similar statue in Celceta, too. What do you think, Adel? Could they all be connected somehow? Alright, let's go to the bridge then. Oh, the whole reason I came here. Talk to the kid. Adventure arrive, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Maybe we'll go talk to Lloyd instead. And then we'll go to the bridge. Find that mysterious driftwood. Alright, the cave along the Kanan Plains is filled with monsters that are near impossible thanks to impenetrable shells. Weakness used to be a bell in their possession of our company. Say the bridge has been repaired, blah, 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 blah.
let's get to see what this weapon does. inside this dungeon other than that one thing uh, I do have these those do look circular don't they hmm who would be able to tell me where I should go Go to the beach. Maybe find a piece of driftwood there. Whip them, so I'll need to talk to somebody. Uh, maybe we'll go back to Zemeth Sanctum. Maybe, uh, goddess chick. We'll have some uh, information. think if there was like a path on the mountain that I can't remember. Oh, look who it is. Alright, that takes care of all the keyholes. Ah, oh, you're still around. Don't worry, these are just insect repellents, uh, you might say. They won't do anything to take care of the real problem, but they should buy us some time at the very least. Anyway, setting that aside, she gave you the final key, didn't she? I guess the legendary Adol the Reds made made of stronger stuff than I gave him credit for. But don't get uh, but but don't go getting cocky now. You're still no match for him. I've said too much. Catch you later, Adol. I'm out of here. Oh, and one more thing. Don't try and pull those talismans off. 
I don't care how dumb you are, there's no way you'd be that dumb, right? All right, let's do dumb things. Maybe he was necessary to progress the quest. Interesting. This is the only weapon that has that. I'm holding down the A button to do that. But nothing else has that. Then again, this one has like a little whirlwind at the end. Hmm. Interesting. I'd really like to use this one. A little slow, but... I'm sure it would, uh... Hit plenty hard. Go back to Red On Village. See if anything's changed. buy this. What else am I going to use my money for right now? I don't know. And the suspension bridge was fixed. Actually, how would I... I need to find someone that can decipher those. Did you ever get to the sin fight, by the way, Dante? Alright, nothing there. Um, 
go here, I guess, first. Wild Patch happened. Unsurprising. Let's see. Oh. So I need, like, a bomb or something. For grass. Kanan Plain is filled with monsters that are near impossible. You talking about the limestone one? I went in there. Guess we need to go find another cave. have been that big of a stretch to make it make it to sin before the patch didn't also play wow for the for the guild uh, over the weekend we missed both Saturday and Sunday uh, the things you do for the guild I'm trying to see if we can find other places to go. Got begged into keys. You're such a nice guy, don't you? How's the grind going so far? You get any uh, really awesome corrupted gear? I saw uh, there's this one piece of corrupted gear that uh, I saw a Demon Hunter get, and it seems like it's probably a best in slot until it gets nerfed. He did like a 400,000 crit or something like that. It was, uh, was kind of crazy. I can go to the peak. You don't want those potatoes saying. They don't have gear with their deep or because their DPS is poor. Alright, I see you on that one. Definitely see you on that one. Now there's no fast travel point to that area. So
Where would I go to find that driftwood? What are the chances it's a bomb? Probably pretty slim. You have one piece of corrupted gear, but it's not that interesting. Just main stat buff. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I forget what the corrupted ability was. was I want to say like Starfall something. Like it, it seemed like a Starfall kind of item. Infinite stars, there you go. That one. Yeah. piece of gear. Keep dreaming. It's gonna get nerfed so fast. sword. Got all three swords. Nothing happens. Oh no, giant moth or something. Got swords. Stuff. Talk to everybody. Let's go talk to everybody. The cloak is good enough uh, that you could support two pieces of that corruption ethics, no problem. And unless you get like 75 corruption, then you're in trouble. You're not helpful. None of you people are helpful. You're not helpful. Sell me a bomb. Look at that sell price. Crazy. Uh, came out and told me to help with parent bread, but I just you turned around and started grumbling, not selling anything, blah blah. So funny considering how she never forgets anyone's debts to her. Great, great. 
Ace is doing a fine job in my stead. At this rate, I don't need to worry about whether she'll be blah 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 blah. Oh, I never saw this one. second time. Okay. I'd love to have a better sense of direction on what I'm supposed to be doing at the moment. Seen one of those in a while. You've got a knack for finding rare goods. How about I make you a deal? You willing to trade that Kapla water for something of mine? Aha! Aha! I think that's what I could use to break through that thing, maybe. Thanks. Having this will make me feel a lot better. Blah 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 blah. Make sure you get used to it. Blah blah blah. Increases Emil? Oh, that's... no. I mean, that's great. I want to equip that. That's not, uh... Not what we were looking for here. Don't equip it, though. Is that an Emulus Tabula? Most intriguing antique you have there. This bee, perhaps, is the light destined to cleave through the darkness that has ruled for so long. Uh, oh, do excuse me, I got a little carried away. Adol, as it so happens, I have some rudimentary knowledge of the words of the ancients. If you'd like, I would be happy to read this tabula as a way to both benefit uh, you and satisfy my curiosity. What did you say? Sure. Alright, uh, my life in this mortal realm nears its end, but before the blackest darkness closes my eyes and welcomes me into its eternal embrace, I wish to record the memories that have been seared into my mind, lest they too be forgotten. These are memories of the time we Reda spent living alongside Alma in the land of Canaan, of the peaceful, harmonious days her protection allowed us, as well as the dark calamity that brought them to an end. The, end, or the events I inscribe have long been confined to the realm of ancient history, yet here I stand, the last Reda to behold Alma's living form with my own eyes. Such a tenacious yet malleable material as Emilus should prove the perfect medium to ensure the survival of these records in perpetuity. Dear reader who seeks to challenge the darkness, I pray that my words may help light your path. Firstly, I must write of the emilis which I use to inscribe these records. Emilis is a crystalline fiber spun from a rock called emil, uh, employing a technology bestowed to us by Alma upon her arrival from Eldin, the land of the gods. In that land, all is made from emilis. It is wood, it is steel, it is even the womb itself. In a cauldron of unfreezing water, various colors of emilis are spun, culminating in the black emilis of power and the white emilis of life. Black emilis can mimic the functions of all that uh, all other colors, while white emilis holds the ability to commune with the black. Eventually, the black emilis created the great protector of the ocean, while the radiant white became the wings that project from the gods' backs. Next, I must also write of the tailless ones, who lived in this land as followers of Alma much like ourselves. 
They were wise and ambitious, and following Alma's teachings, they learned to spin emeliths of their own. Having mastered the three basic colors, they sought to create black and white emeliths, yet Alma steadfastly refused to impart such wisdom upon them. The power of black emeliths is terrifying, you see, and those without wings would have no means to control it. This was not enough to sway the tailless ones, however. They dedicated themselves tirelessly to research in their cave. Yet try as they might, the day never came when they uh, they would behold that jet black sheen with their own eyes. The emeliths that emerged from their cauldron was neither black nor white, but ashen in color. Oops. Bring it back, they are blah 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 blah. And which smiled. We'll cry tears of lamentation. The sea. Your promise man. Only this from my motherland. Blah blah. Okay. Well, those weren't as illuminating as I was hoping. Expected little Isha to come and visit me in a place like this. She's really grown since I last saw her. She's starting to look just like her sister. You can tell their siblings just by looking at them. One adventure, I guess I'd say, it was the fairies who were responsible for both the bridge and the mirror. Man name visited before. Yep. that you found the third fragment in the depths of the lime water cave and you fought a giant rock monster there as well sounds as though those fairies were somehow using the power of the mirror to revive ancient monsters well i had no idea the lime water cave was as vast as you say I wonder if it even leads to the sunrise inlet on the other side of the island I guess we're just gonna attack the rocks and see what happens. Because I'm at a loss at the moment. I don't think I attacked the rock. Surprisingly, it was not helpful. Dogi, what are you doing? There's no rock in the world too tough for my fist to break. I guess, I guess I never left the room last time. I just teleported out. So I never triggered this cutscene? Uh, alright. Now, if all goes to plan, we should be able to break out through here. Huh? Huh. What? Adel, it's you. It's really you. I'm not dreaming, am I? You are really him, aren't you? You're not some kind of shape-shifting monster or master of disguise or anything like that, right? Ado explained everything that happened. Man, you just never change, do you? I figured there was no way you were gonna kick the bucket that easily after all you've been through. But man, I still can't believe you actually fell into the Great Vortex and came out in one piece. Alright, that makes things way easier on my end. On the other side of where that lump of rubble was, 
is an old pirate ship. It took a heck of a pounding in the vortex, but the crew made it out okay. They're one lucky bunch. Well, not like I can talk. Terra's been down in the dumps ever since you fell overboard, you know. It'd be good to let her know that you made it out alive. Taros from like uh, E's five. All because he tried to save me. But if it wasn't for me, he'd. Hey, Tara, what are you doing over there? Oh, hey, Dogie. Was fixing this boat up a bit. What about you? Did you find anything? I found a cave, but I don't know if it's gonna help us get out of here yet. I did find something else though. Something really amazing. What do you mean? What? What are you freezing up for? It's Adel. Looks like he washed up here, too, a little before we did. what I tell you? There's no way he's gonna kick the bucket that easily. <laughs> you jerk. You idiot, moron. You are so stupid, stupid, stupid. Why do you always have to put everyone before yourself? It's all good trying to save me, but what the heck's the point if you fall into the ocean instead? I've been worried sick about you. Well, now I came to see... Uh, well, now I came to see what all the commotion was for, and this is what I find. Hey there, Ladok. That guest of yours is about the last person I ever expected to see again in this lifetime. And what's all this noise... Or what's all the noise about? Well... I think it's kind of obvious, don't you? Big boat. Carefree as ever, huh? Well, lucky you. While you've been having fun adventuring, we had to work our butts off to get away from the Roman fleet. I would expect no less from the infamous Adel the Red. Thanks to you, I think I have a rough idea of the situation along with the geography of the region. The Redans are, uh, were a surprise enough, but what truly astounds me is that town built by the people who washed up there, or here. Here. Man, all, of all the places, old Raba ended up washed up here too. He's one tough guy for his age. First he escapes a place like Darm Tower, then he somehow survives the Great Vortex. Well, moving right along, I guess. We might actually have a chance of g getting the ship repaired now, right? That we do. After you fell off the ship, we were cornered by the Roman fleet and driven into the Vortex ourselves. Fortunately, we managed to navigate through it and make our way to the center. And it was, uh, crazy too. Uh, we spent three whole days and nights getting shoved around by the roughest waves you can imagine. And I ended up having to do a ton of work too, and I'm not even part of the crew. Anyway, as you could see, we got through the vortex. But the mast and the rudder were ruined in the process, and we ended up drifting into this inlet. That happened around three days ago. We've had no luck finding materials to fix the ship, but if there's a town here, we might have a chance. We need to put a boat out right away. That's what I wanted to hear. Mind accompanying us to, on our little adventure, Adel? I want you to introduce me to that uh, Altaginian merchant who's acting leader of the town. I'll need to negotiate with him in order to secure the materials for repairing the ship. Okay, then I'm coming too. Besides, if there's an old friend of ours in town, I'd like to pop by and say hi, you know? I have no objections to that. Let's get ready to leave right away. Um... No, it's nothing. Okay, get a move on. If you're not... Uh, if you're not ready soon, we're gonna leave you behind. Starboard. Attack them land lovers. Can I get my map back? Oh, I was like, they're not letting me leave. Person's name is nice. Oh my, intriguing. Performed a number of calculations for Terra regarding your chances of survival after falling into the ocean. 
and factoring in the point you fell in, the speed of the currents, and the time you were likely to be at sea, I concluded your chances of survival were practically non-existent. I'd be fascinated to know how you did it. Pirate's fire water. Legendary firewater found in a pirate ship's hold has a mellow taste and a wonderful fragrance. Well, well. I hadn't expected to see you alive again, Adel. We, uh, we put you through some ordeal by bringing you aboard, that's for sure. There's a, a very creepy sounding cat. Should I say Gato? I haven't heard Terra sh uh, shout with gusto like that in ages. I could hardly blame her. I'd have done much the same were I in her position. I welcome your return, Adel Christian. Hair as red as ever. Limbs all still attached. Yep, you're the real Adel, all right. Jumping into the ocean to save a girl. Now that's a man's man. I can't believe you fell into waters as rough as those and still managed to come out in one piece. Glad you did, mind you. No pal of ours gets to die that easily. Fire the kittens! traveling here. Come on, we gotta get a move on. If you're not ready soon, we're gonna leave you behind. Man, how, how many years has it been since we last saw old man Raba? Alright, we're setting sail for the town of Remorg on the eastern shore. Are you ready, Adel? Alright, let's call it now, okay? The town is gonna be on fire and destroyed. Okay. They're putting a lot of emphasis on going back to this town. And for some reason, you know, shenanigans seem to be afoot, so... Something bad's gonna happen to this town. Or at this town. I'm ready. Unlike near the vortex, the inland sea is uh, navi navi navigable? Navigable. I always thought it would be, like, navigatable. But, uh, sure. With some effort. Well, I wouldn't say it's not without its share of danger, either. The currents still seem unusually rapid. Be careful you don't fall off. Yes, sir. You got it, boss. Maybe I should have saved first. I see. So all you want from us are the materials to repair your ship, if I'm not mistaken. We'd like some food and water as well, if we could. In return, we'd be happy to give those who, uh, we'd be happy to give those who want it the right to board our ship. Wouldn't mind getting some of those Emilus goods that you've been stocking up off your back, too. What do you think? It's a fair enough trade, I'd say. Very well, I accept. Having a proper ship would certainly be a boon to us. Make the preparations at once, Lloyd, as you wish. Excellent. I think we've made ourselves a fine deal. How long do you think you'll need? Less time than you might think. We should already have everything in stock. It won't take long to gather everything together, so feel free to make yourself comfortable at the bar in the meantime. Thanks for the introduction, Adel. It looks like we'll be able to get the ship repaired after all, but getting through the vortex of Kanan a second time is going to be borderline impossible. We're going to need to think of a plan. Anyway, I'm going to go and get me a drink. It's been too long since I was last on dry land. You're welcome to come and join me if you feel up to it. I'm going to welcome myself to a save point is what I'm going to do. Alright. This 
is where I'm going to end it for right now. I'm going to go get me like 15 tacos and I'm going to eat them and I'm going to enjoy them and then I'm going to come back and then I'm going to play the more of these six. <laughs> Forgetting them. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, an hour, an hour and 30 minutes, I'm guessing, something like that. But uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. See you around-ish. 3.30 p.m. Pacific time, an hour and 30 minutes from now. Peace.